This is day 61 of trying to get to 2000 ELO on chess.com. I have the white pieces and I'm going to play my usual opening. Um, this knight move is actually a mistake, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm just going to continue developing like normal. He's kind of threatening this if you were to like bring his knight here. Um, so I'll just play this move. I was going to play uh, this move eventually, so it doesn't really matter. I could have also like maybe just played this, but uh, pushing this pawn is a blunder because I can just take. And uh, then I'll go here to make room for my bishop. And then I'll probably put my knight on d2. Um, I'll do it now, and then I'll push c4 probably at some point. And then move my bishop. I always delay castling. I just like to see where my opponent puts their pieces. I'll probably push this pawn as well. But first I'll uh I'll go c4. So that if he takes, I'm attacking his bishop. Um But sometimes I like try and push this pawn as well and try and uh like trap his bishop a little bit. So he he decides to castle king uh queen side. Um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play that. So I'm basically I'm threatening to trap his bishop, but I'm also kind of like pushing my pawns up the board. Um, I could take with the pawn. Yeah, I'll take with the pawn. So now I'm threatening this still. I'm also gonna get my queen into the game, putting pressure on this pawn. So maybe uh, getting rid of his knight would be useful. I'm still not gonna castle. I just feel like my king is pretty safe here. Um, I'm not really, really sure where he's going to put his bishop. Uh, maybe he'll move his queen so he can move his bishop back. Okay, he moves his queen so that he's able to move his bishop back once I push this pawn. If I push this pawn now, um, he, he'll be putting a lot of pressure here, which is something I don't really want. Um, so another move that I'm looking at is to attack his knight. And if his knight were to go here, then my queen could go here. I guess he could defend his knight, though. Actually, wait, that doesn't work. If his knight goes... Actually, yeah, it does, because this pawn is blocking the diagonal. I'm going to uh, go here. My knight defends this knight, so he doesn't have any uh, threat, like crazy threats yet. But I do have to be careful. I'm just trying to basically uh, attack his knight and uh, take this pawn. Um, he decides to, that looks like kind of a questionable move. Um, if I were to attack his knight, he goes back. I guess I can't take though, because his queen would be here. So I guess that's why that kind of works. Yeah, I'm going to castle queen side. I don't really want to push this pawn yet because I won't be able to take because the queen will be in the same uh, file here. So now his queen is attacking mine. Um, I guess I could push the pawn now. Pawn takes, I take, knight takes. If I were to push the pawn now, it just looks kind of risky because I'm not I'm not threatening to take anything. I think this has to be the best move though, just getting the queens off the board because my king is un unsafe. And then I could uh, I could put my knight here attacking his rook. Maybe just moving this knight though is is a better move. I could attack his bishop. I'm going to uh, move my knight so this rook is uh, will be attacking his rook. Um, and then I'm probably going to push this pawn, maybe trade off some rooks. I probably had something better, but I just can't really, I can't really find it. Okay, knight is uh, threatening a fork. So I could, I could take this pawn with my bishop attacking his rook. Rook moves. And then I guess I could take this pawn. Then he'll take this pawn with his knight, and then I move my rook, and then he takes my rook. So how much material would I be down? I would. I think I'd be down one point of material. Here, here. Takes. He takes. I don't think that works. I'm just going to go here. Uh, defending uh, this pawn and then I'm probably gonna try and I might have to take his rook okay, he defends against this so now I'm thinking of moving my knight back maybe moving this knight is better um, but I'm gonna move this knight and uh, 
it does it does open up my bishop diagonal a little bit. So he decides to take. Uh, I'll take with the. Uh, oh, he does have that move. I guess I could trap his bishop though. So I'm not really sure. I don't think bishop takes works. I'll take with the. Uh, I'll take with the rook. He takes this. I trap his bishop. I guess he could put his bishop here. His. I don't think he can take this. I don't think he can take that yet. Okay, he goes there. Yeah, I think I'll just double my rooks up and then, uh, and then push this pawn. I don't think he can take this. Takes rook takes takes king takes. Trap is uh okay. He decides to take. I'm guessing he maybe he's trying to block in his bishop or. I don't know. But but I could uh, if I were to trap his bishop now, he takes this. I take this with my knight. Uh, maybe he'll go here, but then I can just push this pawn attacking his bishop. I could also just take, but I don't want I don't want his king to get farther into the position. So I'm just gonna go here, and uh, he's gonna take, and I'm gonna take with my knight because I want this rook to be here. Um, but I might have to push this. Uh, Actually, wait a minute. My knight can just take. Never mind. Yeah, his bishop's trapped. His bishop is just trapped. Okay. He pushes this pawn. Um, so if I put my rook here. Um, I think I'll just go here with my rook. And uh, it looks like he's going to sacrifice his bishop. So then I'll take with the pawn. But this rook file is also very strong because it's open. So... It looks like I'm just up uh, one point of material once he sacrifices his bishop. But he decides to push the pawn. I don't think that's even the best series of moves. I'll just go here and then take with the pawn. And then uh, I can push this pawn. I can develop my knight. Or sorry, I, can, I, I won't go there. I'm going to say that uh, going here is a good move. Attacking his bishop, defended by my knight. Um, pushing this pawn looks like a good move. Yeah, I'm going to push this pawn. If, if his knight comes here, I'm just going to take, trade off the knight for the, trade off uh, my bishop for his knight. Now he decides to push this pawn. I could go here. He puts his rook here and then I have this check. That would be very nice. Winning his rook. Um, so I'm attacking his bishop. Oh, Ooh. I know that's not like a crazy move, but it's just kind of nice. Just when you just basically win the game. So nice. And, uh, yeah, that's very nice. I played with a 77.9% accuracy. My opponent played with a 65.4% accuracy. Yeah, I think my opponent's biggest mistakes were taking this pawn here. Um, because that just got his bishop trapped. And his other mistake was uh, just pinning my bishop, but not realizing his king is very weak. I'm currently on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 game winning streak uh, in Rapid. My rating is now 1809, percent on 99.7. And I'm kind of catching up to my uh, peak rating. But... um. Realistically, it'll probably take me uh, a week or so to even have a chance of getting back up like that high. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.